And joining me live now is Liberal MP Michael Sucker. Michael, great to see you. Uh, it's four weeks uh, yeah, from Laura. the budget. We heard from Jim Chalmers yesterday. He was defending his stance on the low and middle income uh, tax offset, which is um, expiring. Uh, he referred to you as a B grader for criticising. Did you hear that? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, but I mean, uh, the the treasurer who's let's be fr frank, put in a woeful performance. This is his second budget. He needs to start taking some responsibility. He can only ride the coattails of the strong economy that the coalition gifted the government for so long. He actually has to start taking some responsibility. Now, if he wants to remove the lower middle income tax offset, get out there and explain it. Uh, we've seen him rolled time after time uh, by the Prime Minister. He floats thought bubbles out left, right and centre just to be whacked down by his Prime Minister. Uh, I'm sure he's feeling very sheepish about that and probably explains why he lashes out at so many other people, Laura. Oh, you weren't alone. Uh, he he had some criticism for Angus Taylor as well. Um, so I don't know whether you take comfort from that or not. Who knows? But anyway, Laura, let me tell you... I tell you, Laura, the reality is this. Um, under his watch, we are seeing Australians poorer. Let's not beat around the bush. Australians, after 10 months of a Labor government, after 10 months of Anthony Albanese and uh, his treasurer, Jim Chalmers, we're seeing Australians who are poorer, whether it's through higher mortgages, whether it's through their higher cost of living, whether it's the undelivered reductions in power prices of $275, which they promised, uh, a succession of costs that are being borne by families. Now, uh, if I was the treasurer, I'd be hanging my head in shame because Australians are materially poorer now mm. and they sneakily, over Easter weekend, uh, throw it out there that they're going to abolish the low and middle income tax offset up to $1,500 for, for an individual. Mm. So uh, that's no way to govern. Uh, if he's proud of his decisions, if he's proud of the extra costs he's putting on Australians, don't get out there on Good Friday and sneak it out there. Front up, be proud of what you're doing and get out and explain it. The fact that he snuck it out there, I think, yeah. shows that he yeah. lost control. There's no plan. And sadly, Australians are paying the price. They never said they were going to extend it, though, did they? Well, the government now is up to their second budget, Laura. Mm. So um, you can only uh, have an alibi for so long of blaming the former government. Now... Uh, they don't blame the former government for the very strong economy and low unemployment that they inherited, uh, but they seek to try and blame the government for, for everything, the former government for everything. This is Jim Chalmers' mm. second budget. Take some responsibility. Uh, now, Australians so would are you feeling... Extend it? If, you, if you had the power, would you be ex extending Lamito? Well, it's a hypothetical, Laura, because um, we would be delivering a budget if we are in government. So we'd have a whole heap of other things that I suspect you and I would be talking about. And in fact, when I was the Assistant Treasurer, we would often talk about these things. It would be an entirely different budget. But what you have to do, Laura, is front up and take responsibility for your decisions. Now, we've seen 10 interest rate rises. Uh, we've seen power prices increasing, gas prices increasing, cost of living pressures increasing, wage, wages not keeping up with inflation. Mm. inflation the inflation, Jeannie, I think, uh, it is somewhat out of the bottle and being made worse by this government. Uh, mm -hmm. And that all falls at the feet of Jim Chalmers. Well, now, does it? Because the IMF has just released a report saying that this is a problem that all advanced nations are looking at at the moment. So is that really the fault of, of Jim Chalmers? Because this report also says that Australia is actually doing better than America and Japan, for example. Is there a skerrick of credit there or no? Well, no, no, if you're going to abolish the lower middle income tax offset, that's not a feature of the global economy, Laura. That's a decision mm. that the government's taking. That's no, but you were talking more about the, the high economy. inflation environment we find ourselves in. I was more asking well, more on a general well, level. I think, Laura, I think it seems pretty clear that um, the government is fueling the inflation fire. That's very clear. I think inflation uh, is being exacerbated by the government and I think will continue to be exacerbated by decisions of this government. They have not kept faith with the promises that they took to the election. They said Australians would get a $275 reduction in their power prices, yet we're seeing households with thousands of dollars 
of increases. We saw Anthony Albanese promise cheaper mortgages. I, 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 I challenge Jim Chalmers to point out one Australian that's got a cheaper mortgage uh, since they've been in government. Uh, we see inflation outpacing wages uh, at a record pace, and yet Jim Chalmers went to the election saying he was going to deliver real wage increases. Yeah. On every single one of these measures, um, Jim Chalmers and Anthony Albanese spoke a big game before the election. Um, and surprise, surprise, an incoming Labor government, uh, things turn pear-shaped and Australians pay the price. And Australians, you know, I, I hate to repeat this, Laura, Australians are poorer now for the federal Labor government being where they are than they were previously. They're poorer. Uh, it's not language we use very often, but Australians with an average mortgage are having to shell out more than $20,000 more than they did before those increases. Thousands of dollars more at the supermarket, thousands of dollars more in power prices. These are not costs that you can take out of your budget. They're not luxuries, Laura, that you can somehow take out of your family budget. These are hardwired into everyday families' um, um, bills mm. and they are feeling the heat. And what do they get from Jim Chalmers? Excuse after excuse, blame the former government. Um, this is his second budget. Time to step up, time to take re some responsibility. Yeah. And hopefully he and the Prime Minister and their troubled relationship can get back onto <laughs> some level of working order because, um, you know, what I don't think Australians want to see is Jim Chalmers flying these crazy kites to tax Australians more to then be whacked down by, by Anthony Albanese, which I know is humiliating for yeah. him, but... Sadly, it means his eye is not on the ball. Can't wait to see the budget and pour over that uh, with you in four weeks' time. Michael Sucker, see you soon. Good on you, Laura. Thanks.